okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> this dude thinks he can get away with making an R&B album. You can say, I want to be respected as a rapper. I want to not be compared as the other rappers, but you've never actually released a rap album. The album I listened to was trash. The Drake run is over. This is what Drake needs to understand, you know, and let's just work in this one. It's okay. You are not a great singer. We don't sign up for you to give us R&B. We have her that can give us R&B. We have um, Scissor that can give us R&B. There are other guys out there that can give us R&B. You have whether it's Tank, whether it's Tyrese, so Chris Brown and so forth. They can give us R&B. What makes you unique and special is you're a hybrid. You're a very good rapper. Now, people are going to say ghostwriting or so forth. But let's keep it real. You're a, Drake is a very good rapper. I believe Drake's best album is Thank Me Later. And why is that such a good album? It's some, It feels new and fresh because it's a guy that's rapping, that's also doing R&B as well. The music is good and it's that hybrid coming together. That is what's made Lauryn Hill's album so good. And let's keep it real. Drake is not as good a rapper as Lauryn Hill. And Drake... <laughs> Lauren Hill is, and you know, like he, Lauren Hill is like an infinity times better singer than Drake is. So for, like, for me, when the first song started, I was like, oh, okay, okay, you know, this is okay. So he's starting with an R and B vibe just to ease it in and stuff. So then he's probably gonna get into his whole rap thing. Then second song, okay, third song. Then by the third or fourth song, I was like, okay, I know what he's doing. Like maybe like first five songs R and B, then the next five songs gonna be rap. Okay, okay, F fifth. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> this dude thinks he can get away with making an R&B album. <laughs> this dude thinks that we want to hear him sing for a whole album. You're mad. <laughs> like, you're mad. Like, that. that is so stupid. And this is my issue with Drake. So, I think he, he was, like, in an interview on Rap Radar where he said that he feels he doesn't get enough respect as a, a rapper. And, you know, he feels like he needs to give him lots more kudos. And in the same interview, they ask him, I think Alex Watson asked him that, no, man, look, man, guys, when are you going to make a rapper? When are you going to make a rapper? And he said, well, you know, I'm going to give something for the guys and the ladies. That's all well and good. You can't have your cake and eat it. You can't say, I want to be respected as a rapper. I want to not be compared as other rappers, but you've never actually released a rap album. You've released hybrids. So... Don't talk to me about Drake or J. Cole, Drake or Kendrick, Drake or Lil Wayne or Super, because you can't even be compared to them because you've never released a rap album. <laughs> you've never released a rap album. You, you never have. And people say, oh, no, you can't compare J. Electronica to all these guys and so forth and everything. Well, go listen to, because I have the, his album, if, if you want to look. Um, J. Electronica's proper album, Patents of Nobility. Bro, that's one of the best albums released in the last 20 years, you know. But even his latest album, Written Testament, which isn't as good as the album he should have released in 2012, it's a rap album. And the guy's rapping is great in it. So, for Drake, I don't know what this is. Because someone made a point of, like, how Drake now wants to move more into popular culture, more into pop. I want to know, bring some more club stuff. That's also well and good. Cool. The album I listened to was trash. The album I listened to was trash. The production was good. The music is good. Because, um, what's, what's it called? I've, I've got the name of his pr pr producer guy. The production on Drake's stuff is always high top notch. Because I I really listen to music very carefully. The music is top notch. But his singing and so forth is not good. And this is the reality. This is what people need to accept. The Drake run is over. And Drake, as an artist, is limited. As an artist, see, what does an artist do? He experiments, he tries to push forward. I did not like the Kendrick Lamar album. I didn't like it. But I appreciated what he tried to do as an artist. He tried to do something. For me, it didn't work. But I still appreciate the effort. So, and and with J.J. J, J. Cole. You see what J. Cole is doing with stuff and everything. Like, even with that um, KOD and so forth. I thought it was fun and also, but you're trying something. Drake... Drake is the definition of a pop artist in the most simplest, basic 1D form. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just give the clubs what they want. Keep things simple and keep it moving. Just, guys, think about it. Has this guy really evolved himself, really advanced himself in the last two or three albums? 
Like certified the lover boy and this bro, it's like you haven't advanced, you haven't pushed, pushed forward. And I think, see, if it wasn't Drake and listen to that album, you'd be like, hey, what the hell is this? Because it's Drake, there's a Drake tax. I'm sorry, there is a Drake tax that exists, which is that people can't give a full unbiased view on that because that album was trash. But to keep it a stack, it was trash. So yeah, man. Um guys, if you want to listen to a re the best album I've listened to. In the last few years, you, you want me to, to, to keep it real? Um, the Black Star album. See, see if you, you can find it. If you don't, just ask me. So yeah, look, man, I said again, look, Drake, whether it's Take Care, quality album, or the one I think is the best, thank me later. He has released some classics and amazing stuff. And it's been one of the most amazing ones we've ever seen. It's been an amazing one, but I believe that, yep. Of course, it will still be, do well and so forth, but the the... Gold dust is dying down, and I think that you know what? Let's keep it real. The Drake run, which has been an amazing run, has officially come to an end.